In this video, we will now cover the full manual mode. Because it could be that you don't have a picking list, you just have an image and you know which spots you would like to pick. It would be nice to have a, a way to help you picking the right spot. And then we have a software on the uh, PC, um, uh, which is delivered with the pickup, where you can import, in fact, your uh, image, for instance, a .gel or a .tiff, uh, doesn't matter, I will take this .tiff file here from my USB key. I just have to double click on it, because automatically when I double click on an image, this software will pop up. It's color paint, a special version of color paint. I can just uh, zoom uh, uh, out here to have a better view of the gel. Uh, move into the gel and uh, yeah, it's a bit too much. Zoom in, for instance, like here. But I can zoom a bit more and then I can move inside the gel to pick a few spots. Well, to decide to pick a few spots. First thing, I will make a round circle around the spots I want to pick. For that, I take the tool, the round tool. I can make a square if I want. Take the round tool and I can choose the size of the line. Make it big enough to be able to see it. And you can choose a color. Red would be nice. And then you can just make a red circle around the spots that you would like later on to pick. For instance, this one, this one, this one. I can zoom in a bit. See, I would like to pick these spots. For instance, now I have four spots and I will label these spots in order to have the same number than the number that will appear into the list after the picking. It will be by default, remember, the manual, manual 1, manual 2, manual 3, and so on. Thus, I will call these spots 1, 2, 3, 4. I just take the writing tool, the text tool. I need to choose the size, or 36 would be nice, and the color. And the only thing to do is to make a square, or a, yes, to make a square close to the spots you want to Pick and put a number, for instance, number one here, number two here, number three here, and number four there. Okay, you can of course adjust the size, the color, and so on, whatever. You can put it on the left, on the right, you can decide to make a little line. Uh, you can play with this tool without any problem. The only thing we have to do now is to save this file. Thus, go to File, Save As, and I will use just the same name, but I will call it Annotated. Annotated file, and I save. Now my file is on the USB disk as well, and I can close this tool. Close this. Restart the software, Image Viewer will pop up, and now I can choose this annotated file as image file. Open. And now the software is asking me if I want to use a picking list. Of course I don't, thus I cancel. And now I have the image, the software is starting. Uh, my picking list is not loaded, thus I have a message asking me if I want to switch to manual mode to pick in real manual mode. I say yes, that means the automatic mode will not be enabled. Switch to manual mode, yes. And then you see on the image that now you have, you can adjust the file just the same that you have done before. And I will just show you that, uh, in fact, in this case, there is no uh, uh, no plate and so on, but we can see how it works. Thus, what I will do is go to first, I am in manual, thus on the first one, the first spot I need to put my mouse on it as before. Click, validate, yes, this is the exact position, it is M1. 
and you see that now I have the crosshair. The crosshair is in red when we are in full manual mode. If we have used the red color for the spot, we pick this one. Then we can just go to the next one. You want the last spot? He said, yeah, I have to put another name. Thus I put this one, the number two, and go to number two. Click on the number two, validate this spot. Yes, I have the number two picked. I click on the number three, validate this spot. Yes, I have the number three picked. And I go to the number four. Here, I think I make two times number three. It's a huge mistake, but doesn't matter. Validate this spot. Yes. And now I have the M4. One, two, three, four. Thus now, if I finish, I save the file. And I will save it like a video manual. Video manual. Save. And I will in a second show you this. I close the application. And I will now show you, remember, file manager. File manager, USB disk. And I have video manual file. I just click on it. And I have the spot M1 with its coordinate, and it's located in 101, plate number 1, well number A1, and so on and so on, M1, M2, M3, M4. Thus you see that you can still have a record of the full manual mode as soon as you use this little tool that enables you to mark the image before you go into the picking. Okay, I think we finish with this. The next thing I will show you is in case the uh, computer is crashing, uh, in case you crash Linux, it's very un unprobable, but uh, nothing is impossible as we know. Thus, I will show you how to reload the software from a safety partition which is on the machine. Okay, thank you.